Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to be completing the Ardoin Heart Diary. Quest requirements are Legends Quest, Watchtower, Morning's End Part 2 and partially Monkey Madness 1. Skill requirements are 50 Construction, 59 Hunter, 65 Runecrafting, 66 Magic, 68 Smithing, 70 Farming and 72 Thieving. All of these stats can be boosted except for Construction. Since I don't have all these stats requirements on my Questor account, I will be using a secondary account which does have these stats requirements, but uh, you will not receive or see a completionist message. For the items needed is a skill necklace or a combat bracelet. They must be uncharged. A Kramja monkey Grigri, a lockpick, two law and earth runes, one two, five ropes and small fishing nets, but one is enough. Then you will also need to have a palm sapling and a poison ivy seed. Having 15 papaya fruits is helpful. Next is some farming equipment, but the tool wrapper crown can simply hold it, that is no problem. Next up is 25,000 GP, a hammer, five mithril bars, a shield left half and a shield right half. Now, if you are an Iron Man, the shield right half is only obtainable by uh, buying it from the shop on the second floor of the Legends Guild for 750,000 GP. And the shield left half is only obtainable from the rare drop table. I would suggest you to kill Gorax in the Gorax plane with a Ring of Wealth equipped, because that creature hits the rare drop table the most frequent. And then lastly, for the last item, is the one pure essence to create a death rune. For the recommended items is some weight reducing armor with one stamina potion, a regular Ardoin teleport, one West Ardoin teleport, one teleportation method to Edgeville, and a pickaxe for when you are entering the abyss. And then also one teleportation method to anywhere, doesn't matter which where, after we have created the one death rune and we have to wait for our palm tree to be fully grown. So where to start this task is right here at the Ardoin Monastery. I suggest you to start here. And here we are already going to the other account. And what you have to do right here at the monastery is just uh, rake this bush patch and plant your poison ivy berry seed and after approximately six hours it will be fully grown into the bush just pick from the ivy bush and you will have completed one of the diary tasks so after you have planted your poison ivy seed into the bush patch uh, you there is no need to pay the gag member because the bush doesn't die or uh, gets eaten next let's run northwest and now we will need to go to the uh, tree spirit that is just located northwest of the clock tower all right let's travel and let's go to the tree gnome village the first option let's exit Let's go to Ackloy. Let's follow Ackloy and... And after we've exited the maze, let's go a little bit southwest and here you should find a, a fruit tree patch. Here you will need to plant your palm sapling. This should take approximately 16 hours to be fully grown. But uh, after you've planted your palm tree sapling, just go to Gileth, the gag member, and pay her 15 papaya fruits. And then in those 16 hours, your palm tree sapling will not die. Alright, back on my newbie account. After you've planted your palm tree sapling and you have paid Gileth 50 papaya fruits, let's go north. Let's keep running north until we say a bridge. And after you have crossed the bridge across the river, we will have to head west. 
maybe drink a stamina potion and this will be one of the uh, longest distances that we will have to run during this guide. Uh, just keep going west until you see the hunter sign and the ghosts and these just let just go to the uh, red salamanders if there's someone here quickly hop all right after hopping a little bit let's set up a trap hopefully we will be able to catch that red salamander immediately after our first try All right, let's check the net and this will be your first task completed. Let's drop the net and the small fishing net as well as the red salamander. Those weigh quite a bit. Next, let's teleport to Artie, the east Artie. Next, let's run west to the player owned house, estate agent. This is just south of the mansion. Let's talk to this dude. Select the first option, could you move my house? Uh, more options, and then select Yanil, the third option, which will cost you 25,000 GP. Next, let's continue running west, and now enter the, the RD Zoo. Right at the entrance, let's uh, hold our Karambuan Grigri and somewhere near the monkey cage we should see a monkey miner. Talk to him and he should put us in the cage. Alright, this is another task completed. Let's unequip our monkey Grigri, talk to the monkey miner and he should uh, get us out of the cage. Alright, after you've escaped, let's go north and go to the East Ardoin Castle. Here we will have to go inside and climb up the stairs to the second floor. Next, go south and go to the southwestern corner. Right click on that door and pick lock. This will require a lock pick, I think. If you fail, just keep trying to pick lock the door. That are a lot of fails. Alright, there we go. Next, open up the other doors. Don't pickpocket the paladin. And here we should find a chest. Right click and search for traps. You shouldn't uh, fail it. And this will teleport you to Witch Haven with a raw shark and an adamant. Or, all right. After here, arriving in Witchhaven, let's run north and run to the Legends Guild. Now it is time for us to charge our skill necklace or combat bracelet. Alright, after you've entered the Legends Guild, open the Legends Guild door and use the Uncharged Combat Bracelet or Skill Necklace on the Totem Pole to charge it, give it 4 charges and complete another task. Next, let's teleport to West Ardoin. Let's run Northwest. Maybe open up your minimap. We will need to go to one of the most Northwestern buildings. Just keep going north until you see the northern wall. Oh wait, you just have to go north, okay. And here we'll find a building with an anvil sign. First, let's uh, smith. Just click on the anvil and select the mithril plate body. This will complete another task. Next, use the shield left or right half on the anvil. And you should do some ferocious work to create it into a dragon square shield and complete yet another task. Next, let's teleport to a watchtower. This will complete uh, task number 7. Next, climb down. 
and enter your nail. You can simply do so by climbing or climbing into this hole. Next, let's go to your POH, which you've just set to uh, yeah, nil, back when we were in uh, RD, and let's enter our POH. Go to your house, and this will complete another task. Next, exit your house and go east. Now, for another task, we will need to enter the magic guild. Now, maybe this will also trigger because the back door there's now a back door here, so hopefully this will also trigger this uh, task. And if not, just go through the other door. Right, now there are actually only one more task remaining, and that is to create one death room. So let's teleport ourselves to Edgeville. And I don't have the rule crafting requirements, so I'm going to be doing that on my other account right here. Right, deposit everything, let's take some essence. Alright, once you are set and done to enter the abyss, be sure to have a pickaxe, that would be the most uh, useful item in there. Some essence, uh, at least one essence, that would be enough to complete this task. So, let's go north. Well, you could also just uh, have a death talisman or a death tiara and go all the way well, <laughs> do Moonings and Part 2 quest, uh, go through that entire thing, make your way all the way to that death altar, but uh, I think the abyss would be a bit more efficient. Death altar is on the western side, it is next to the uh, Law Rift. So this should be the second one, the third one from the this one, alright. Let's cross some death rooms. And this will be your final task done. Now you only have to wait for your poison ivy bush and your palm tree to be fully grown, which takes 3 hours and 16 hours respectfully. Check the health of both of them and pick some poison ivy berries to complete both uh, tasks. And then you can return to two points in the inn of East Ardoin to complete your uh, hard diary and claim your rewards. The rewards are 1 experience lamp which grants 15,000 experience in any skill above level 50, 100 noted pure essence per day from wizard Comfortry in East Ardy, a right click option to doggle the watchtower teleport to the center of Yanil, the resources that you get from killing anything in the tower of life will be noted, and 10% increased chance of succeeding when pickpocketing anywhere even without having the cape equipped. This was my guide how to complete the Ardoin Heart Diary. Hopefully it still helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.